Hello, people. I am back from Hawaii, back home, back to my routine. So this video is going to be like a productive day in my life, um, studying UX design and coding. My career journey has been really strange, but in high school, I did like a YouTube channel with my brothers. I did that for seven years, all throughout high school and then my early 20s. Then I kind of pivoted from that to doing like commissioned videos for brands. So like in the style, of the videos I'd done before, brands would now approach me and pay me to do videos in that style. Then I went to go work for an advertising agency for a year doing basically social media marketing. Then I started working for my local Chick-fil-A as their social media manager. And now I'm doing DoorDash. I really am just looking to get out of the game of doing social media for other brands because I just don't really enjoy it. I love doing social media for myself, kind of like as a hobby, but I really need something stable that I can just do easily, like from my home, from anywhere, if I wanna travel. So that is why I chose UX design, because I already have a lot of experience doing graphic design. I have grown up around tech because my dad is a software engineer. I just suddenly thought of that one day and I was like, this is an easy pivot for me. So last year, I just like really dove in head first. The history of it, how modern day tech companies are operating, that kind of a thing. So I'm going to show you how I've been doing my self-study, but before I get started, I'm going to make my coffee. This is a little tip for you if you like to make iced coffee. Don't add the ice straight into the espresso because the espresso is really hot and it's going to melt the ice really fast. So what I like to do is have the espresso on its own right here and then I add in my sugar so that it really like melts in. Then I add four ounces of milk and I give it a good stir. This is kind of a smaller coffee. It's just one shot of espresso. Right now, I'm actually trying to learn a little bit of Swift using an Apple tutorial. You do not need to know coding to be a UX designer, which I thought that for a long time, which is why I never considered it. So yeah, you don't need to know coding. I'm really interested in learning, just to like check it out, see what I can learn. Maybe I can build some apps just to use for myself, you know? Swift is pretty new. And it's supposed to be like more simple version of coding that doesn't need so much like syntax to do the same tasks. So far what I've been learning in Xcode has been really cool because it basically gives you like a live preview of what you're coding over here. I feel like what I've been able to code is pretty cool looking for like very few lines of code. did my yoga and meditation for the day and I wanted to take a minute to tell you guys a little bit about some of the study methods that I used. This is basically the first book that I read on the subject of UX design, the design of everyday things. So I got the ebook as well, which was a newer edition. Basically it was written by the guy that kind of founded the principles of UX design. And the thing is that UX design, it's user experience design, and it's about a lot more than just software. It's really about the experience that a user of anything has with that thing. How people go about learning how to use a thing, how intuitive it is, how they go through the decision process of what to do with the thing and how to use it. So this was a very good book. 
highly recommend it. I used a website called Plural Site that has a lot of courses on lots of different areas of tech. And as I was learning from these courses and reading the book, I was just taking like pages and pages of my own notes. I watched like a three hour YouTube tutorial on how to use Adobe XD. And if you understand how to use Photoshop, that's like a pretty easy transition. When you're trying to get hired as a UX designer, you need to have like a portfolio of different case studies and projects that you've done. So I'm working on my first UX design project. I started with doing uh, user interviews just among like my friends and family. So I could start to like understand my target customer. I'm starting with like an iPhone app. And then based on the info that I got from the interviews that I did, I started designing like a little opening page flow for how I wanted the app to be. And then some like little sketches of how I wanted it to look. Then I started working with XD to transfer my little sketches to XD so that I could make a little working prototype. If you understand apps well, and you understand graphic design well, you can get into UX design if you want to. And then about like my mindset during this whole process, when I am learning something new, I like to get like totally obsessed with it. Back when I started on this journey, I started watching TV shows about tech. I started listening to podcasts about tech, watching videos on YouTube about tech, just like totally surrounding myself with tech so that I could just get really excited about learning everything and just totally obsess over it. For me, that's like just the way that I like to learn. I just feel like it's the most fun. It helps reframe learning into something that you want to do that's really fun rather than feeling like you're back in school. Alright everyone, I am back. It is nighttime now. I did some door dashing for a while because I'm doing that part time right now. And I'm gonna have like a little nighttime study session because my husband is working late tonight. Sometimes I will also have a study session after he goes to bed because I am a night owl and he is not. Now I'm gonna be working on my UX project that I was kind of telling you a little bit about earlier. So I figured I would show it to you. Okay, so right now I'm designing a budgeting app and I really wanted to design something that was unlike anything I'd seen before. A lot of the budgeting apps I feel like are ad supported, so they're trying to at the same time like helping you budget and save your money, they're also like selling you credit cards. I find that so annoying. I want that out of my face. I want an app that is going to help me spend the least amount of time managing my money as possible. So anyway, this is like very preliminary. I'm really just learning how to do this. So this is Adobe XD. This is the opening screen. I started off designing the interface in kind of like dark mode. So almost everything is like black, gray, and white essentially. I feel like it definitely needs a lot more color added to the interface. So keep that in mind. I want to add more color. So let me show you the prototype. So that was the opening screen. Then I made it animate to the login screen. Let's do the face ID. So this is something I feel like I haven't seen on other budgeting apps. I've created like an opening flow that will show you what transactions have come in since you last opened the app, just so that you are aware of them. If you need to change any of the categories of any of them, you can do that from here. If the category is not correct, you can click the category and then you can change it to one of these. So let's say all these are fine, so I'm gonna hit next. Then it shows you what subscriptions you've paid for since you last logged in. If you are not using the subscription, you hit the little X and you can ask for help canceling it. You can remind yourself to cancel it. So it'll send you like a little notification that'll be like, remind me to cancel this next month or remind me to cancel it tomorrow. If they're all good, you just hit through that and now your budget is all up to date. Uh, and then this is the homepage of the app. It shows you your different transactions. 
Um, this is my attempt to add a little bit of color to the app. You can see the previous page didn't have those updates. I still need to do that. Um, it's just like basic filter and sort kind of situation. This is a search thing and it's not working right right now. Oh, there we go. Um, that's the settings page. And you can go to your budget to see how your budget is doing. Um, trends is supposed to be viewed this way, basically. You can see what you spent on groceries. You can toggle to this year to see like if you're on track with how you were last year. You can change the category because these are like your different budget categories. And then the accounts page that shows you what accounts you have added to the app and like the total amount of money that you have. Yeah, not all these buttons work yet. I need to add some more pages. So anyway, that is my first attempt at designing an app. I've never used Adobe XD before, never designed an app before, never worked with interfaces before. But yeah, I like how it's coming along so far. Adobe XD was not as hard to learn as I thought it would be. It feels almost like it's combining my graphic design brain and my video editing brain together because you kind of have to create animations between the different pages. If you're good with graphic design, I really feel like you can definitely transition that into UX design if you're really interested in technology apps and that kind of thing. Okay, so now I am getting it started with my study session. And whenever I'm working on pretty much anything on my computer, I like to have like some background music going, but usually not regular music, usually lo-fi chill music. But it's usually like a playlist of music that sort of fits the theme of what I'm doing. Right now, the soundtrack I'm going to be using is there's this channel called Healing Vibrations, and it's basically like singing bowl music. Um, but this one, the Mercury in Retrograde uh, video that they put up, I don't know why I find it so relaxing to put on at night. I don't know. I feel like I am in space, just like floating around thinking really hard. So I am going to put that on and get started. So after this, I pretty much just studied for the rest of the night until my husband got home from work. So that's going to be pretty much the end of this video. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.